guys, this is Stormouse03. Welcome back to my 100% walkthrough for Prey. We are in episode 9 in the cargo bay. And so we're just doing a quick stat check right here. So we've got 28 food and drink items consumed, 186 Transtar crew and visitors located, 110 emails read, 47 transcribed messages listened to, and five Starbender books read. We've also got five of the Black Market Dead Drops and three of Morgan's messages to themselves. So that's where we're at at the beginning of this. And we're going to head on into shipping and receiving or into the shipping and receiving quest. And sometimes a, a nightmare will spawn in here. I keep wanting to call them hunters, but they're nightmares. Morgan, up here, Officer Cool. If we can't open the main door, or our friends are going to pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Okay, so you can do a couple of things here. You could glue up to the catwalk if you want to. Or a much better option is just to go and kill all of the phantoms and things in this area. So we have this Voltaic Phantom. There was also a regular Phantom upstairs. Okay. So we got that one. And then we'll head upstairs and when you kill all of these enemies, they will open the doors for you. So we're going to do our best to sneaky sneak up on this phantom here. Okay, and then we have another phantom over here. And I think less sneaky sneak and more just kill on that one. Okay, and that may be everything in the near vicinity. You look like you need a medical operator. Yep, thanks very much, Austin. Are you going to open the door? Did I kill everything? Clearly not. Austin is unhappy with the state of the enemies out here. So 
So I don't see any other enemies. However, doesn't mean that they're not there. So there should be a few mimics in fuel storage. You want to be careful going through here because there's a lot of fire all over the place. Oh, Mimic. So that's that guy. And then we can hit this button to turn the power on. Where are you, Wrench? I know you're down there. You don't look so good. You gonna open the door, Austin? No? So once you kill everything, he should open this door. I'm unsure what he's doing at this moment. But we can go ahead and prepare some things. You all right? Clearly there's another enemy that I'm supposed to be killing. I'm not 100% sure what that enemy is. Okay, so what we can do is Oh my goodness Get in this cargo container and get up to the catwalk and get in this way Okay, so there's a number of individuals here. You look like you need a medical operator. So we have Austin Cool. PNAs might as well be water pistols for all the good they do. Crew member number one eighty seven. We have Tamiko Hayashi, crew member one eighty eight. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. We only recently learned you were still on the station. The crate outside the ship. Kevin Haig. There, he might have survived longer than any of us. Crew member one eight nine. Elazar, we'll want to talk to you. 
we have Darcy Maddox. Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but fills me with dread. Anyway, she fell stars waiting on you. So she'll be crew member 190. And then when we head upstairs, we have some more folks. God, watching those things move it makes me sick. So we have Sam Hertz, 191. Alfred Rose. Oh my God, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. Okay, after they're done rambling, maybe they're looking for stable can talk to Alfred. They want to live inside us like a disease. Okay, so that's 191 and 192. And then we have this lady in here who's injured, Ekaterina Musayev. I thought, I don't know what I thought. Right. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when, when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire, and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunction. All of them. How is that possible? Okay, so she's crew member. The power supply. Oh, shut up, lady. So she's crew member one ninety three. If only I could have put out the fire. Doctor Igwe will be one ninety four. I hope you recall me, Doctor Igwe, Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I can feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo and claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. Okay, so he's crew member 194, and then Don't know Sarah Elazar will be 195. Or not. Might have been safer in his so came all this way only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The... My men told me power's been restored to the Fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you. Doctor, that means... All we need is the turret fabricator plan. There's one in the safe in the security office, but the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. Those things will eventually find a way in here if we don't take the fight to them. Okay. Any luck with the lifts? So there you go. That should be if you've managed to get everybody to count, which you should have. You should be at 195 crew members located. 
If you find a way out of here, take Dr. Igwe with you. Maybe he can be of some help. We have where. transcribe 48 right here. Dr. Igwe figures he'd survive. Hey, are you there? Oh. Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief? If there were any problems in the schedule, the roster. But that doesn't mean we don't I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too. Need those Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice meal, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Okay. And now we can get another achievement or trophy because We are going to find our last black market drop here in just a second. Okay, so our last black market drop is going to be right here. And so we unlock our achievement or trophy black market. You found all the smugglers and dead drops. So that is one collectible thing down. Next collectible thing down is going to be food. So you'll see that there's a bunch of different food items on this table here. And these are all guaranteed finds, including this Acetra caviar, which should you probably have not found one of these at this point. I think that there are only a few scattered throughout and they're all kind of pre-designated to certain areas. And so this should be your last thing uh, for your achievement. I also avoided eating one of these jellied eels because uh, we wa I wanted my achievement to pop with this caviar right here. So. We're going to eat that. And we're going to eat the jelly deals. And there's our achievement. So, Trendstar Gourmand. You ate one of every type of food and drink on Talos 1. So yeah, I, I avoided eating... <coughs> Goodness me. I avoided eating those jellied eels because I wanted to, to ensure that I was going to get the achievement here. And so we have 30 types of food and drink consumed. And so some people have reported that theirs popped around 29. So it may be that you don't need to eat the super fruit, but in any case, that is that. So yours could pop a little bit earlier than mine did, but it should you should get it at this point because chances are that you have found at least one of everything else other than that caviar. So there we go. Next thing. So we have Gerald Wildman's computer right here. And on it, we will have emails 111 and 112, re-hazmat transfer today, and Dr. Igwe temporary assignment. And so we have a few other crew members. So 
So if you jump up here, you will locate Diane Washington, crew member 196. And then we're going to head to the middle here. And we're going to locate Gus McGill, who is crew member number 198. He also has transcribe number 49 on him. And there should be one other crew member up here. Okay. And Gerald Wildman. Who's going to be... Crew member 198. Crew member 199 is going to be over here. Crushed under this little platform here is Ash Lassare. Crew member 199. And now that you have found that Gus, you can, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to put in here. You can go and Look at his computer. You gonna open this door yet? No. Okay. It's very strange. Every single time I practice playing through there, they open the door. Whatever. That's fine. So down here we have Gus McGill's computer, so we now have his password. And we can find three new emails, 113 through 115, exterior door welded, re-unresolved guts, and catastrophic accident report. We can also use this to unlock these cages, which will be helpful for the side quest that we are currently doing. So for this shipping and receiving quest here, Am 
must be a way we to need to set up online. some turrets. And so we have one right there. Austin. Any luck with the eradicators? Open the door. Guns Transtar assigned us. Open the door. You're a donut. So that's one turret set up. And there are several others. So there was one that we found in the shipping crate. And then you also want to grab another crate trying to remember exactly which one of these which one of these containers it was in I think it's this one here on the end so cargo lift six yes So there's your third turret right there. And since it looks as though he's never going to open this door, what we're going to do... is put these turrets... into... this cargo container. And use that to take them up there and so one other thing that you can do this isn't strictly necessary but it's another way to just get some extra turrets and to be able to to um, fabricate these later on if you'd like we're going to head out and we're going to use that code that Sarah gave us to open the security storage safe and get the fabrication plan. So it's pretty quick and we're going to go out and do that right now. Microgravity detected. Okay, so once we get out here, we're going to be headed this way. And there will be a weaver out here. To contend with. Okay. That's our last weaver that needs scanning. Okay, so if you can get that thing dead, then the little cystoids won't be too much of an issue for you. And you can come around over here to the safe. And we now have the code. And we can grab this turret fabrication plan and the neuromods that are in there and head on back into the cargo bay.
And for whatever reason, it wants you to go through the crate that's not open. <sighs> Just make sure you go through this one. And I'll see you back inside. Okay, so now we have that Neuromod fabrication, a uh, Neuromod <sighs> turret fabrication plan that we can use. And I would recommend making one more turret. It doesn't cost very much to create. It's uh, three each of your synthetic and mineral materials. And so I'd recommend making one more for this next thing because we're going to need these people to be alive. And so, because that is an achievement. Okay. So we're going to take all these turrets with us and we're going to move them into position. So this next achievement or trophy that we're doing is called the Gates of Hell, and that is to do this next section where we open the doors and fight some enemies without any of the NPCs dying. We want to keep them alive anyway because, again, we're going for the most empathic playthrough here for the Iron Thou achievement. And so you can probably do this with three. You have to have at least three in order for it to start, but I'd recommend four. Alright, so we're going to deploy all of these guys. Hey, stop moving my turrets, buddy. Okay. So we've got four of those bad boys, and now Sarah will give us the code. These are online and primed. I can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Bay B. Okay. So now, I would recommend you make a quick save right here, just in case this goes wonky. And it can go wonky in a couple of ways. So there are two crew members in here, one of which are two corpses in there, one of which has probably been turned into a phantom by the weaver that's in there. And I've had it glitch on me and not be able to count his body as being found. And so you just want to check. You want to check your crew members at this point. And you should have 199 right now found. And so if that doesn't go up after you look at this guy Enix body, then you want to reload your quick save. Also, you want to reload your quick save if anybody dies and you don't get your Gates of Hell achievement. So, we're going to put in the code. And our turrets are going to do most of the work here, but we can also kind of stand right here and 
shoot things. Nothing is worth this shit. More where that came from. <clears throat> Was worried we'd run out of bullets. What's next? I'm pumped. Well, that's some fine shooting, if I do say so myself. Okay. So that is the Gates of Hell. You completed the shipping and receiving objective, and no human lives were lost. So that's great. That Everybody's okay. Hold out indefinitely. If you send other survivors here, I will protect them. Very good. And you'll see that our turrets just got demolished. And how much I didn't. Except for this one right here. So this is why I, I recommended that you <laughs> have four and not just three. Sometimes they won't destroy as many of those as they did. I don't know. Just luck. Random luck. So one of these corpses should be Enoch Kuneva. And he should be crew member number 200. And so we want to make sure that he counted, because like I said, he's glitched on me before. So yes, he did. 200 people found. So that is very good. There's plenty of goodies in these shipping containers. So a lot of them you can open on your own and they'll have things like food and weapon upgrade kits and whatnot. So you can go through those kind of on your own and, and find the stuff that you want out of them. Christopher Smith will be right here, and that will be crew member number 201. And we're gonna open this door. There should be an etheric phantom out here we're going to go ahead and scan him. Okay. So that's him dead. And you want to come and look at this crate right here. It should be container 3232, and it is. We're going to be getting in here. So for this one and any of these shipping containers that have a keypad here, you can use this console right here to open them. So we're going to put in 3232, three, two, and that's going to unlock that container. We're also going to pick up this transcribe from Ash Lasser. Can someone please explain to me why there's a delay with my parcel? Sorry, Dr. Berger. The system shut down. Some kind of fail-safe trigger? We're working on it. That parcel is extremely sensitive. I need it in psychotronics right away. I have a crew investigating the point of failure on our side as we speak. ETA is probably a few hours. A few hours? Isn't there anything else you can do? No. But since you have some time, you could call Mr. Yu and ask him for permission to reboot the entire space station. That would fix the problem immediately. That would be ridiculous. Well, since being ridiculous is off the table, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to wait. Maybe I'll check into it myself. I've trained for microgravity. Knock yourself out. Okay, so that was transcribed number 50. And for any of these locked crates, I would recommend actually that you wait because you're going to need to hack a bunch of things. And so these are a few things that you can hack once you get that skill in order to unlock that achievement later on when we are doing those. So 
I'd say leave them. There's nothing in there that's, you know, you're going to die if you don't have. So we are going to go and look in this crate. And there's lots of food items in here, but we're going to find Quentin Purvis. Crew member number 202. And so this will start a quest called Whistleblower. And you'll need this for another achievement later on. That has to do with Michaela Illusion and finding out what happened to her father. And so you just want to do that and also find him because he's crew member number 202. So thanks for watching guys. We'll do a little stat check right here. So you should at this point have 30 different food and drink items consumed and your achievement for that. You should have 202 crew members located, 115 emails read, 50 transcribed messages listened to, five star vendor books read. You also got your black market achievement in this one. And we have three out of five of those Morgan messages that we're working on as well. So hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope that your cargo bay doesn't act up on you like mine did. And we will carry forward and see you when we head into life support.